This is EasyOSX, and today I'm showing you how to install the Python programming language using Homebrew on your Mac. Python is a very easy and powerful language to learn. If you already have the Xcode command line tools, you already have a version of it installed, version 3.9.6 to be precise. If you're using Homebrew, you already have the Xcode command line tools installed. If you don't have the Xcode command line tools, just open your terminal and run the command Xcode dash select space dash install. However, this isn't the most recent version of Python. The latest version is actually 3.11.5 as of this video, but it was version 3.11.4 when I recorded this, but that update doesn't affect the process. If you need the latest version, or even just a different version, then you'll need to do something. You can always download and install the latest version from the Python webpage, but I'm going to show you how to install it with Homebrew. And as always, if you don't have Homebrew installed, check out my video in the corner and description on how to get Homebrew set up. First, I'm going to search for Python in my terminal by typing in brew space search space Python and hit enter. This simple search will show you a lot of options, and these are primarily the ones that have Python in the name. Now you may need specific packages for your work, such as building out, giving it a front end, and several other things. But for now, we're just going to install the core of the language. Like I mentioned before, the most recent version is Python 3.11, so that's what I'm going to install. I'll type in the command brew space install space python at symbol 3 period 1 1 and hit enter. It's going to start downloading Python 3.11 and its dependencies. There are a few of them, so this may take a minute or two. Once it's done, you will have a long list of things which you shouldn't panic over. These are things like where your instance of Python is installed, some info about installing Python packages and things that are no longer installed alongside Python, and that you'll need to install separately if you still need them. To test this, I'm just going to open bbedit, create a basic hello world print statement, and save it to my desktop as test.py. Now to run it, I'm going to open my terminal and type in python3 space, then the file path, which is tilde forward slash desktop forward slash test dot py and hit enter. And there's my hello world printed out. Now I'm ready to get programming in Python 3. Thank you all so much for watching. If this video helped you out, then give it a like. It'll really help the channel. Likewise, if you want more Mac, iOS, and other Apple tips, tricks, and advice, you can subscribe to the channel. You can also check out the website, easyosx.net, as well as our social media pages. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.